superior skill with the lightsaber, Darth Maul implemented a force ability into his duel with Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi on Naboo that nearly won him the day. At the same time, a force ability that managed to cloud the senses of both Jedi, especially affecting the young Obi-Wan. Darth Maul had in fact learned this ability from his master, Darth Sidious, who would use it to nearly destroy the Jedi. However, this force ability was on a much smaller scale than that of his master and the one that he would use years later to cloud all of the force, but on Naboo, Maul used the power to a much more concentrated extent. Maul meant to make it harder for Kenobi to use the Force while in the duel, and cloud his senses to a degree he had never felt before. In a sense, Maul's goal was meant to literally disrupt Kenobi's as well as Qui-Gon Jinn's connection to the Force. Maul did this by furiously meditating before the fight began, and clouded the Force in the area so that the dark side would have an inherent advantage there. Maul also pushed all of his rage to the surface during the duel, so that Kenobi would have no choice but to face it head on. This is what Obi-Wan said about the force ability that Maul used after facing it directly. Obi-Wan had never been in such a lightsaber battle before, so this is a Sith Lord he thought, fleeting as he dodged and leaped. It was taking every skill he knew just to stay alive. The Sith Lord seemed to cloud Obi-Wan's use of the force, making it harder to sense his opponent's moves and counter them in time. The battle began in the hangar. Darth Maul activated his double-ended lightsaber, a weapon he fashioned himself under my supervision. In his hands, this weapon was flawless, or so I thought. He made the Jedi run. They had to use everything they knew and more to meet his skill. They went at him, two on one, and they could not defeat him. No doubt, Maul used his formidable dark power to blunt their use of the force itself. Obi-Wan even went on to say that the force ability that Maul used to cloud his vision of the light side of the force also made it easier to embrace the dark side once Jin was slain by Maul. On top of losing his master, Kenobi found it easier to embrace the rage within himself. Since Kenobi was feeling less of a pull to the light side of the force, he let his rage take a hold, and while it allowed him to defeat Maul, it also made it hard for him to remain in the light side of the force while doing so. As I said earlier in this video, Darth Sidious would also use this ability, but around the same time frame. Darth Sidious used this power with Darth Plagueis, and literally clouded the vision of the entire Jedi Order by using the same ability on a huge scale. Sidious would then go on to use the ability over all of the many years that he reigned as the Emperor, as well as his time as the Chancellor, to ensure that the Jedi visions stayed clouded. But what are your thoughts on this Force ability, and how it nearly killed Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi? As a big question for the end of the video though, what do you think would have happened to Obi-Wan if he had fully embraced the dark side of the Force due to his senses being clouded? As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video, the Force be with you guys, and have a great day.